what's up youtube welcome back to auto 3 garage and as you can see i am back i will be washing my na 4484 na as you can see we got the 944 badge right here and let's get to it well i got like three cars i'm finna wash finna wash that car there there and in my own um, work van and y'all see my brother mustang i'm like he got his hood that he got to adjust and all that but man, this thing came out really well. As you can see, he really did a good, great job. I like this hood that he had got. He got another hood in the house and he got another fender. And the people we had got the um, the bumper, I mean, the, uh, the front panel. I don't know, I can't think of it right now. Anyway, they gave us, a, uh, gave us the hood for a good deal. But anyway, as you can see, I got a 944 right here that needed washing. Got my old Mercedes wheels right here. Um, so yeah. So we're gonna give her a good wash. We're gonna do a little time lapse on it. And uh tell you what y'all think. Beautiful car. So y'all under the hood. Many people, so, a lot of people are fan, many people not a fan. But especially of this part right here, I want to change this up too. But it don't look bad under here, uh, to be honest. I got the guard piece for the blower motor. I got that. I need to put on uh, my wiper blade motor. It has been um, acting weird lately and stuff, but it works when it wants to, which is kind of, which is kind of weird. It works when it wants to. Uh, battery. I want to get like a, a negative um, turn off thing so i don't kill the battery as you can see i got my trigger charger on here but with this car i gotta remove this one fan because it went out but overall this car is driving real good and my steering rack it was feeling weird really weird it seemed like i couldn't like hardly turn the car but when I recently cranked it up, backed it out, the wheel was just turning so freely and stuff, which is kind of odd and strange. But I might have to either rebuild the steering rack or replace it or get a manual steering rack and uh, go with that. But <clears throat> with this car, man, uh, I want to do a whole lot. But in today's video, I'm finna wash it. So stay tuned for the next video of like going over everything. Um, so yeah, let's close her back. I need to disconnect this first. Let's disconnect the battery. Close this hood. Probably need to vacuum all that and stuff. Yeah, probably. Beautiful car, my favorite car. I might end up getting another one. Honestly, I can see myself getting another one uh, in the near future. Right now, um, just really chill out right now. Um, but I have seen one online, and I'm like, bro. But yeah, but here's my 944. We're gonna get for a wash, and like I said, I'm about to wash my work van and probably the Mercedes, if not a Mercedes, uh, later on. And uh, stay tuned for the Tahoe. We're gonna be tearing her apart, so I can't wait for that. So. Let's get into this video. Let me stop all the talking. Hey guys, before we actually wash the car, I have been thinking about putting concrete down, but I've been too lazy. So I might not ever put concrete down, to be honest. I might not. Uh, I can literally work in any type of environment, rather concrete, dirt, anything. As long as I get my car fixed, that's a good thing. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. But first, um, let me show you the product I'm washing the Porsche with. So guys, I am using some Meguiar's, um, pretty good brand. Got it for seven bucks at O'Reilly's. So they had a hot smoking deal. We got a deep crystal car wash. Uh, tell me what brand y'all use. Um, <clears throat> there's other brands I use I use uh, chemical guys they pretty good I usually have the chemical guys I usually use the foam 
but I don't have the foam gun no more. I ran through two. Every time I get one, they always uh, end up breaking. But anyway, we are gonna rinse down a Porsche, um, hand washer, rinse it back down, and just get for that little shine and stuff. Gotta keep it clean. guys i am finna clean uh the wheels right now uh i bet you like why is you washing your car around dirt okay if you spread an angle you won't get dirt uh on your car or your wheels or anything like that but anyway i am using the jay leno's uh garage wheel cleaner uh he has always been my favorite car enthusiast i've been watching him ever since like i was goddamn 16 maybe 15 um i came across him on youtube and stuff and i've been watching him and it's crazy because i had like discovered his product like probably like few weeks back i'm not gonna lie and i used it on my mercedes and stuff did really well so we're gonna use it on the porsche and no this is not no sponsor or anything but um, he really do got a, a good little product. So what I'm gonna end up doing is just spraying it down. Um, well, first I'm about to scrub the wheel, then spray this down, let it sit, and then rinse it off and uh, see what it uh, does. And as you can see, my Porsche wheel got a curb rash, sadly. But let's get into it. So guys, first thing first, uh, I'm gonna use this rag uh, to scrub the wheel, get real good inside. I can use all types of accessories to clean a car. 
But I have always been cleaning the car like this ever uh, ever since I was young, growing up and all that. I always clean a car with a rag and all that. I always clean the body first, uh, then I clean the wheels, as you can see. Uh, I know you can change the rags if you want to. I could, but not doing all the extra stuff, uh, honestly. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna just do this one wheel. I'm not gonna do all of it, but then I'm gonna do like a walk around of the car as you can see so yeah we'll clean so guys we done have you know spritz off the wheel we really don't have to put this on there but now we got to we got to top it off with this we got to so anyway we'll spread it down Anyway, sprayed it down. We're gonna let it sit. Uh, I think it turns purple to activate. It say rinse wheel, clean water, and yeah, yeah, allow 30. So anyway, we're gonna allow 30 to 60 seconds, allow uh, the spray uh, that we just uh, put on the wheel to uh, penetrate. Um, and I guess like to break down like the grime, all little uh, things like that of that nature. And yeah. So anyway, let that sit, then let's give it some time. Anyway, after we had applied uh, the wheel cleaner, allowed it to sit down, um, it came out really great, as you can see. Then we put some uh, good old Meguiar's on there. So yeah, been using Meguiar's for a while too. So yeah. So guys, as you can see, after the 944 has been washed, I can't end the video off like that. But this car looked amazing compared to what it was before. Uh, after the wash, I had used some Avalon King. Um, so I got to show y'all the bottle I had used uh, to bring uh, the shine out on this car. Uh, the Jaylino wheel cleaner did an amazing job on all the wheels. Added some Meguiar's uh, tire shine uh, to the car. But this car does need a paint correction, as you can see right here. Um, here, 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 so forth. But y'all will see uh, further down the road. Uh, so stay tuned for this car. If you made it this far, I really appreciate it. Welcome to Auto 3 Garage. As you will see more than 9 to 44, just come sub in. And I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm glad this car is cleaned up. Look really good um and I, I love the styling of this car i just i like the history too of the car i feel like this car is like forgotten in a way um but it's just the na as you can see i know the turbos are highly uh wanted also too um it would be nice to have a turbo someday but uh stay tuned for this car we got we got we got plans for this car so stay tuned Really appreciate it. Let me show y'all the Avalon King bottle that I use. Um, I know I need a ceramic coat this car, but before that, I probably need to um, do the paint correction and use the Avalon uh, ceramic coat. I had put it on my Mercedes. It uh, worked really well. Um, I started using the product because uh, one of the other car enthusiasts I've been watching, uh, legit street cars, and he's been using it on his car, so I've been using it. So I follow him on Instagram. Uh, Jolino and other enthusiasts and it's just it's just a you know a blessing to look up to you them know, and everything um so starting off small uh this is the way to go to start off small from uh hopefully someday have a big behind garage i can see it right now i'm gonna have a whole bunch of cars i can see it right now um but it's gonna happen but anyway sub in 
Let's get to it. See y'all. But as you can see, I have used the boost spray on the Porsche. Um, this is the prep spray for Avalon King. Um, this is like once you know you're going to ceramic coat the car with late product, the Avalon King product. Um, this is like afterwards, like a month or two down the road, if you want to keep the shine up on it. Um, so yeah, this is what I used. Um, I need. I already got this. I got still plenty of this stuff, but good stuff, good stuff. As you can see, guys, we got the, the Hellcat, and then we got the uh, E500. No, the 500E, yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, the 500E, and then we got, you know, the C8 Corvette. So this is one of my favorite Mercedes, too. I love the body style of the car. It's, it's, it looked like a really great car. Man, I like the history on it, too. Uh, it's amazing. But as you can see, I could have like a whole bunch of cars and stuff. I might need to get more, but these are the three I have got uh, lately. Every time I go to AutoZone or O'Reilly's, because I always get stuff up there anyway. I wonder how much money I spent at them stores. I always been in like literally every single month. So anyway, stay tuned uh, for more videos. Really appreciate it. Welcome to Auto3 Garage, and let's get to it. Peace.